Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga and today I'm going to talk about the, the terrestrials again because I want to uh, repot them uh, all in, in organic media in a self-watching system just uh, like I said in the unboxing video to try stuff out so what I will do I will uh, unpot these three and I only will show one on the camera because of the time issue and we will also uh, plant these guys I just opened up one and these have these uh, beautiful little uh, bulbs I know there's a name for it but I don't know it on top of my head um, but we're gonna pot these guys up as well so but I first will start with those so I will put these aside and we will uh, revisit them uh, later in this video so let's uh, put these guys away for a second as well so I do not get tangled up with the tags and let's have a look uh, at the first one it's this beautiful uh, Calenta Takane Takane one Takane something like that I uh, hope you do not have too much uh, background noises I have a buzzing sound going on. I'm sorry, that's from coming from the lamps. So I hope it's not too annoying. So yeah, let's have a look. My uh, Calante that I have for uh, almost a year now is really enjoying self-watering. So I think these ones will like it as well. At least I hope. But first, let's see. They start a new growth. Their new growth already. So that's a nice time to do a repot. Because those will give new roots. But at least that's what we hope, of course. Oops. Let's try to. There we go. This one has a beautiful uh, root system. That's for sure. So we'll try to get as much media off as I can. Just gently almost massaging, uh, massaging the root system. Not squeezing, just moving my fingers towards uh, the roots. And as you can see the media will fall out. Some dead roots, at least. That's what I think they were. <laughs> This one is working on a beautiful root system. Growing root tips, quite a lot of them. And a few older ones, a few dead roots. So we can take those out. So I try to get as much media off. I don't know if I need to get everything off. I think it will be okay to leave a little bit but like I said I try to get as much off as I can but I don't want to damage this root system too much but I try to uh, get as much off you can see we have quite a lot of uh, dirt already uh, off the roots so let's see and check some roots most of them are pretty fine okay they're doing well So, and I think I'm really going to enjoy the blooms. I have a feeling that these have beautiful blooms, but I never saw them in real life, at least as far as I know. So, what's this? That's an old road. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Like I said, I'm going to uh, leave a little bit of that uh, media on there. That's okay. Uh, I normally try to get everything off, but because these are terrestrial, anyhow, it doesn't matter. 
normally I do that because the uh, media it starts to breaking down uh, with bark for example or sphagnum moss in this case I don't think this is really going to uh, damage the roots uh, that much in a self watering system so I will not uh, uh, clean more off because I probably will damage do more harm uh, by cleaning all those roots up than leaving a little bit of uh, media on there so um, I will grab my stuff and we will uh, repot it into a new system okay so I have everything ready I have my inner pot with a water meter outer pot so basically the same system for all of my orchids and I will fill up at first a layer of the bigger pumice so that will keep the uh, small pumice inside of the pot because the holes are fairly big underneath the pot so that will uh, fall out otherwise so otherwise so uh, we have a little bit of layer to start with and Let's uh, grab the orchid and put it nicely in a new pot. Let's see if I can put it in the middle of the pot. Try to get the roots in around the water meter. It's a little bit more difficult because he has quite some roots here, which we like, obviously. Yeah, it's a little too high already. So, so we try again let's move you to the side we need a little bit more space so that the roots slide in the pot like this this is better this is better so gently pushing in the roots here and there we go let's see if I can put it back Just wiggle it a little bit so it will go down into the pot a little bit easier. Like that. And now starts adding the small pumice. But I need this little scoop. I call them scoops. I'm not really sure if that's the right pronunciation, but you uh, understand what I mean, I think. And Put in the media. Let it fall down in between the roots. It's just a regular uh, repot, basically. Of course, because we use the same system as before, so not much of a difference there. And we will see how these uh, guys uh, will do in their new setup. Like I said, my other uh, Calante, uh, which I show in the unboxing video, is doing uh, fairly well in self watering. So I think these should do well as well in the, in that in that setup. A little bit of tapping because we do not need air gaps for this one. Being it's a terrestrial, so we don't need much air around the roots. And let's put in a little bit more. Pressing it down a little bit. There's a little gap there. 
need to fill. More. So, <clears throat> I think this will do for now. Uh, let me check. Yeah, a little bit of an air there, an air hole a little bit there. That's fine. It's not much. I will. Uh, grab a few pebbles as a top layer and then this one is already uh, finished. So, I really enjoy these black pebbles. I really, really like them. So, I hope the orchids will like them too. <laughs> Do think so. So, I think that's uh, looking great. A quick look, beautiful new growth there, and another new growth here. So uh, yeah, this is looking good. I will do now a uh, repot the other ones, and then we will uh, visit uh, when I'm uh, ready to pot uh, these up. I have three of these as well, but I'm going to do it a little bit different than the uh, Calanthes. Uh, a pylony, I think it's called pylony, something like that. So we will be back and then we will uh, repot of uh, potting those. So the calanthus are done. We will uh, revisit them all in the end of this video, vi video and it will show up how they uh, look now. But this is uh, the Plyony as I uh, did uh, talk about before I started repotting. And this is how it looks. It has two new growths so far. And it's really strange. I never thought that I would find a work with an orchid uh, that likes, uh, looks like a, more like a tulip at this moment than an orchid, as we uh, used to them in the store. But I really found this uh, very interesting. And so that's why I'm giving this, these guys a go, at least for coming uh, year. And we will see how they will do in my setup. Uh, so what I will do, I will fill this up with uh, some pumice and then I will slowly uh, put this in. They need a little bit uh, into the media are, are yeah, almost covered as I saw online so I hope it will do right but yeah then again I never see one uh, putting it in self-watering and in, uh, in uh, pumice. Well it's not completely self-watering because you don't start to water them when they started growing, when they start to have roots. A little bit like uh, catecinum types sort but uh, like I said maybe it's going to be a big failure I don't know but um, I will uh, probably never know if I never try right so uh, I am going to give this a go and I think it might work otherwise I wouldn't do it of course um, let me see no yeah. Well, I'm going to use my finger. That works as well. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can uh, see a bit better what I'm doing there. Uh, whoops. I don't hope that I make you dizzy. But what I do is I'm making a hole in the, in the middle of the pot where the bulb uh, will fit in nicely. Something like this. Perhaps, and then we will uh, put the nice bulb in. Slowly and gently. 
something like this. Put the uh, pumice back. And now I have it on top of the media. I think this is sort of how you need to uh, put them up. Let's hope. So I will do this uh, with the other ones as well and then we will have a look at all of uh, the orchids or the, uh, all, all of the uh, terrestrial orchids. And before we have a last look at them inside the greenhouse, of course I need to do some pebbles on top. I almost did forget. So I'm gently trying to uh, put in the pebbles. I will have my finger in front of that uh, new growth. I don't want to damage it, of course. So I put in a few around them, just one by one. I hope you can see it, I think you can. So I don't damage the new growth. I think I'm going to leave it like this. So, okay, this uh, I will do this with the other two as well and then we will uh, have a look at them inside the greenhouse. And here they are, underneath that uh, growing light. This is the Calante that I already had. And these are the new ones. And I left in as much moss as I could, because I really like uh, the look of moss. And I think um, the moss will grow as well. I have quite some moss growing. And I also do like the uh, overall look of them with just a little bit of pebbles on top and some new growths I just uh, left above the media for, uh, like in this one for example so yeah we will uh, revisit them uh, uh, probably in a month or two something like that when uh, something uh, really is uh, happening and uh, yeah I really hope that they will uh, start to grow and that this one uh, will uh, start to get some roots. That's this one. So yeah, I will uh, keep you updated. I'm really uh, excited to uh, do this uh, um, update, uh, did, uh, this experiment, experiment I should say. And what I also did forget to mention for these guys, I will fill up the tray with water when they really start to grow. So it's basically uh, also a uh, self-watering system. But I will uh, share some water with these guys, and uh, because uh, I think it will be easier for me to water them this way. So therefore, I uh, keep them in this setup. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, we will uh, revisit them uh, hopefully soon. That means that something is happening, but otherwise in a few months. So uh, as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you didn't already have, please some consider subscribing to my channel I really uh, appreciate it and of course for now I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye